Gil with David on his shoulders opens the door. Joanna stands in the doorway. Joanna. Hey, David. David. Hi, Joanna. Joanna. Are we still playing chess today? David. Absolutely. Uh, this is my Uncle Gil, and that's my dad. Gil. Gabe, why don't you ask Joanna if she wants some juice or something? Gabe. Sure. Joanna, come on in. Joanna follows Gabe into the kitchen. In the living room, Gil lets David off of his shoulders. Gil. You didn't tell me your friend was a girl. David. She's cute, isn't she? I really want to impress her, Uncle Gil. I think I like her. Gil. I'm going to help you. Listen carefully. A chessboard has eight rows numbered one through eight and eight columns labeled A through H, just like a graph. Make sense? David. No. Gil. Do you know which way the pieces move? David. It's like checkers, right? Don't worry, Uncle Gil. I'll bet you she's not even that good. Joanna returns from the kitchen with a juice. Joanna. I played against my computer last night, and I beat it six times in a row. David. I'm going to be fine. I'm just going to wing it. Joanna. And that was on expert difficulty. David and Joanna sit down to play on opposite sides of the coffee table. Joanna looks at David expectantly. David. What? Joanna. Choose sides. Joanna holds out both closed hands. David chooses one. It's a black pawn. Joanna makes the first move. Gabe walks in. Gil pulls him aside. Gil. We've got to try to stop this disaster. Gabe. I've still got to find this ticket. Gil. Right. Good call, Gabe. Everyone, if I could have your attention, Gabe here has lost a very important ticket to a concert tonight. We have to find it. Now. Everyone scatters. Joanna looks under the couch. Joanna. I think I see something under the couch. Do you see it? Everyone dives to look under the couch and reaches underneath. Gil. You're right. I do see something. David. Yeah, that's got to be it. Gabe. I've almost got it. Joanna. Ouch! That's my hand. Gabe. <coughs> Sorry. Here it is. Got it. Pulls out a small piece of paper. Oh, it's only a gum wrapper. I'll check the bedroom again. Gabe exits. David pulls Gil aside. David. Uncle Gil, I appreciate the effort, but... Gil. Move the pawn, the little one in the front, fifth from the left. Move it two squares forward. David and Joanna resume their game. David makes the move. Joanna makes her second move. It's David's turn again. He puts his hand on a piece. Gil grunts disapprovingly. David switches his hand to another piece. Gil grunts again. The doorbell rings. Gil. Saved by the bell. David, why don't you get that? David. Excuse me a minute, Joanna. Sorry. David opens the door. A flower guy holds a large arrangement of flowers. Flower guy. Hi. I've got a delivery for apartment 2L. Gil. Right in here, thanks. Gabe pokes his head out from the bedroom. Gabe. Who's that? Gil. Delivery guy. Flower guy. I've got a name, you know. Somebody has to sign for these. Gabe. Want to make some extra bucks? Help me find a lost concert ticket? Flower guy. Sure thing, I got time. Flower guy helps rummage through the apartment. Gil to Joanna. I believe these are for you. Pretty flowers for a pretty girl, is what David said. Joanna. Oh, they're beautiful. David. Let's keep playing. It's my move. Gil. I'll put these flowers on the table here. Gil purposely puts the flowers on the chessboard. Joanna and David cannot see each other over the large bouquet. Gil's phone rings and the doorbell rings. Gil. Hello? Flower guy, would you get the door? Flower guy. I have a name, you know, and someone needs to sign for the flowers. David. I'll get the door. Sorry, Joanna. 
Gil. Can you hear me? I can't. David answers the door. Allison Woods stands there with Christine and Arthur Woods in tow. Arthur holds a large model airplane. Christine holds a remote control. Allison. Hi. You didn't by any chance get a delivery of flowers by mistake, did you? I saw the truck out front, but... Christine. Hey, David, want to go play at the park? David. Now's not a good time, Christine. Arthur. We just got this new remote control airplane. Check it out. Christine. Listen to this. Christine pushes a button on the remote. The airplane's motor starts. It makes an extremely loud whirring sound. Christine. Nice, huh? Gil. Who's that? Allison. What did I say about playing with that thing indoors? Arthur. Aw, Mom! David to Joanna. It's Mrs. Woods from across the hall and Christine and Arthur. Gabe. Allison, great. Can you help us look for a lost ticket? Gil. Hello? How about now? Can you hear me now? Allison. Sure. Are those my flowers? Gil. I don't think so. Hey, flower guy, catch. Tosses cell phone to flower guy. Any reception over there? Flower guy. Hold on. I've got a... No, forget it. Tosses cell back to Gil. Seriously, will anybody sign for these flowers? Gabe to Arthur and Christine. Guys, we're looking for a small piece of paper, a concert ticket. Gil. Allison, how about you? Tosses cell to Allison. Anything? Allison. Nope. Tosses cell back to Gil. Are you sure these aren't my flowers? Gil. Can anybody really be sure of anything? Gabe. Found it. Nope. Dry cleaning receipt. Flower guy, exasperated. You guys have anything to eat here? He looks around the kitchen and finds David's box of cereal. Flower guy begins to poke through the refrigerator and cupboards. Joanna. Let's just try to keep playing. It's still your turn. David picks up the flowers and looks around for a place to put them. Allison takes them and reads the tag attached. David and Joanna try to resume their game. Gil begins to circle the table, still trying for a signal. Gil. Wait, I think, yes, yes. Allison. Yes, these are mine. They were supposed to come to me in two I, see? Flower guy pours out a bowl of cereal, rummages in a drawer for a spoon. Arthur. David, trust me. You're going to want to see this thing fly. Christine, it's pretty cool. Gil stands on the coffee table, practically on the chessboard. Gil, yes, I can hear you, finally. David stands up, takes Gil's cell phone, and tosses it out the window. Everyone stops. Even the model plane sputters to a halt. Silent. Gil, quite calmly. Yikes. David. Can't you all see we're trying to play chess here? This was my one chance to talk to Joanna. She's in the chess club, and even though I don't know how to play chess, looking dumb was worth the chance to say hello. That's all I wanted, and all of you really messed that up for me today. Pause. Everyone apologizes to David and Joanna. Joanna. David, I'm really glad you wanted to say hello. Karen enters. Karen. Would you believe I forgot? What's going on here? Flower guy, holding bowl and spoon, looks in refrigerator for milk. Gil. Just a little gathering. David. Mom, Dad's got something he needs to tell you. Flower guy, holding cereal, pulls out the empty milk carton. It has a piece of paper stuck to the bottom. Flower guy, disappointed. Who would put an empty carton of milk back in the refrigerator? Gabe. Honey, I have some bad news. Flower guy. There's something stuck to the bottom of the carton. Gabe. It's about tonight. Flower guy. Holding up the missing ticket.